Hi guys, uh, just a quick video about our new WPI performance plugin. Um, I've ported it over from my other website, Affiliate Web Designers. It used to be called the AWD um, uh, WooCommerce plugin, but it actually improves performance for more things than um, WooCommerce. It improves custom post type speeds, um, improves your import speeds if you're using Data Feeder or WPL import, speeds them up, um, uh, speeds up the back end of your WordPress site. Um, so what it is, it's not a caching plugin. What it does is it actually optimizes the database queries underneath, um, all fully compatible and everything, but it makes your site light and fast. So um, you, you want to use it in conjunction with a caching plugin, so you can still use something like WP Super Cache or uh, W3 Total Cache or uh, WP Rocket, whatever you like. Um, but what this does, I mean, if you've got loads and loads of uh, um, filters like these guys, right, that are using it, um, then... You know, it's impossible to cache all those pages. It's just impossible. So you need your queries to actually be quick, right? So I'll show you an idea, right? Just drilling around this page. These guys are based in America. Um, I'm in the UK, so the images are a bit slow to load. But um, you get a feel for the kind of speed that you're talking. It's basically, you know, it's what you'd expect from a website. It's like a proper big boy website. Um, so this one is using WooCommerce. You see the kind of speed you're talking. They've got about... I think they're up to about 80, 70,000 products, something like that. Yeah, uh, almost, about 65,000 products by the look of it there, right? Um, now, here's another one I'll show you. This is custom, put uh, oh yeah, and in terms of the limit, I've got a demo site, I'll show you this one here. Um, here I have almost a million products, um, 817,000, okay? Um, it's actually only a $20 a month server. Um, but you can see I'm logged, uh, yeah, you can see I'm logged in at the moment, so... Um, that page is actually 13 seconds to load that slash shop page. That sounds slow, but without this plugin, it takes over five minutes to load this page. Okay, and obviously your slash shop page is the most highly cacheable page. Um, and the more specific your queries get, the faster it gets. Unlike with WooCommerce where it gets, it still takes five minutes. So like if I filter beige, for example, this is uncached. You can see I'm logged in. Uh, that's filtering across all of your 820,000 products. And you saw it was uh, 1.3 uh, seconds. That's still considered that slow, but the point is that's cacheable, that's workable, right? You can, um, uh, users can use it. Your CPU and your disk isn't maxing out on the server because the queries are written to use the indexes, um, but whatever you want. Um, so these filters can be styled however you like. I mean, you can see they're not very nicely styled in that page, it's just a demo. Um, they've styled them here quite nicely. Um, you can make them drop downs or um, lists um, you can make it that when you select categories that they reset the URL or they keep the existing filters you've got. Um, you can make it that in your attributes, you can make it you select one or more than one. And when you're selecting more than one, you can make it if it uh, narrows the results. So if it's colors, you can say, um, I want it to be blue and yellow. Um, and it will only show you the stuff that's blue and yellow. Or you can choose the option to make it blue or yellow. And then it'll show you everything that's either blue or yellow, if that makes sense. Um, but anyway, you get a feel for the speed of their site there. So if I go, yeah, well, you saw that was, this is a site with 800,000 products. If I filter, I don't know, whatever, um, like cream. I mean, this one's adding, right? So you see it's actually adding to the products. So that's now showing me anything that's beige, pink, or cream. Okay, but the, those are options you set in the back end. But you see how fast it is. Uh, these guys, they're using custom post types. Um, so when they came to me, they were having real difficulty. I mean, uh, they've, they've grown and they've got, I think, I don't know exactly how many um, properties they're selling, but it's, uh, I think, about 30, 40,000 now. Um, let's see, Malaga. Oh, sorry about my typing. Um, yeah, so if I search in Malaga, 26,000 properties in Malaga. Right, um, so you get an idea. You can go to their website, it's homes-abroad.net. Um, but you see here, right, they can't they can't possibly cache all this stuff. You can't cache all the combination of all these, right? So you need your database to be working fast, and that's what this does, okay? It makes your database work fast. It makes your back end just speed up rap amazingly. It's just amazing. I mean, everybody that's been using it has been absolutely loving it. Um, I'll show you the back end. This is the kind of stuff you get. These are still called AWD. They'll be renaming to... WPI, um, but if you grab it right now, um, it'll probably still be called AWD, um, but these are the filters, so that's just showing you your existing filters, you can style them to have, you know, for to let people remove them, uh, you've got categories, so a list or a drop down, you've got uh, reset, the, 
URL when they change category, so that means to clear out any attribute filters they've got on or don't reset and let them keep narrowing down. Um, some cool options there. Uh, these attribute widgets, is basically just picking out your attributes from WooCommerce. It's all 100% WooCommerce compatible. Um, again, list type or drop down. Uh, narrow the results, expand the results, or don't allow multiple selections. Um, you see examples there, same kind of thing, right? And then you got a price filter. Um, now the price filter, you can have a drop down list, or you can have a little slider. Um, what have I got on here? Uh, I got a slider, right? So you know, like that kind of thing. Um, and there's also a recently viewed products. Yeah, yeah. So the recently viewed products widget. Um, the reason I had to add that in as well was because the WooCommerce one um, doesn't use Ajax. If you don't use Ajax, then it means you're technically producing a different page for each user, and then that means that you can't cache your pages. Again, you still want to cache your pages even with this plugin, because um, you know if somebody's coming in, if, if one of your pages becomes really popular, um, then you want it just to be getting served up from cache for all the anonymous users. Okay, and what that does is it basically it means that, it's, that everybody gets the same page, and then it goes off to the server and grabs just the recent products for that user. Um, in fact, uh, there's an option that it uses a cookie. In fact, sorry, so it's uh, even faster than that. Um, anyway, uh, that's the plugin. Um, this is the page. I'm going to update this a little bit more today. There's extra information coming. Um, sign up to my site. Um, this is just built all this footer stuff to show you all around um, just yesterday. Um, but it's a fantastic plugin. I'm going to uh, give you a launch offer. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll put a sale on for this um, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. If you've got any questions, just fire away. I've got the questions section up here, okay, so you can ask questions about any of the specific plugins. Um, if you sign up for my blog, you can follow the stuff I'm writing about. Um, but I'm on a mission to sort out WordPress performance. Um, I want it to be solved um, for everybody. So if you know of any slow plugins, then submit them um, to my Q&A section and I'll, uh, if they get voted up by other people and they people are clearly seeing problems and I'll, I'll optimize them and fix them. Okay, so uh, look, looking forward to hearing your thoughts on this plugin. It's really fantastic. Um, and uh, yeah, have a good one.